Solid state batteries offer plenty of promising benefits in comparison to the lithium ion battery. Most experts claim that the transition to solid state batteries is not a question of whether it will happen, but rather when it will happen. As a result, this has led to a multitude of corporations attempting to be the first one to obtain this new technology. In 2014, SACD3 announced the launch of a solid state lithium ion battery, which supposedly has a higher energy density and a lower cost than the conventional lithium ion battery. Strangely enough, in 2015, SACD3 was acquired by Dyson. At around the same time, Toyota went out and filed plenty of patents around the technology, and the car manufacturer officially announced that it would be developing a solid state battery. Two to three years later, Toyota announced the deepening of its partnership with Panasonic, which included a solid state battery collaboration. Along with Toyota and Dyson, plenty of other companies are springing at the opportunity, including BMW, Volkswagen, Samsung, Honda, Hyundai, and Nissan. Clearly, there seems to be a lot of hype around solid state batteries, but how close are these companies to reaching commercial solid state batteries and who will be first? Conventionally, a lithium ion battery consists of an electrolytic solution, anode and cathode. A solid state battery, on the other hand, replaces the liquid electrolytic solution with a solid electrolyte. This allows for a significant package downsizing, as a solid state battery allows for more energy in a smaller amount of space. All of this sounds fantastic in theory, but why is it that solid state batteries aren't here yet? The problem with the current solid state batteries is that while the battery is charging, lithium ion dendrites, which are lithium ion crystals, they form in the anode, penetrating through the separator and consequently reaching the cathode. This will lead to plenty of short circuits. As these short circuits continue to ramp up during the charging phase, the solid state battery continues to heat up, leading to a fire or even an explosion. Back in the middle of March, researchers from the Samsung Advanced Institute of Technology, also known as the SAIT, revealed the prototype of a solid state battery that would allow an electric vehicle to travel 500 miles in one charge. Samsung also claimed that the battery would last 1,000 charges, which means that the battery can last 500,000 miles before degrading a significant amount. The benefits still don't end there as Samsung claims that their solid state batteries are far safer than lithium ion batteries. In order to prevent dendrites from forming in the battery during the charging phase, Samsung has decided to use a micro silver carbon layer as the anode, allowing them to reduce anode thickness and boost energy density to 900 watt hours per liter. Due to how small the silver carbon layer is, the battery will be 50% smaller than the conventional lithium ion battery. However, the question is, when are Samsung's solid-state batteries actually coming to the market? In short, not anytime soon. Samsung's solid-state battery is still in its early stages, and many questions remain unanswered. For example, what would the price of this battery cost? It's no question that the price would increase substantially if silver was used in each battery. Not only that, but Samsung's study also didn't mention anything about power density. Power density will affect the performance of the vehicle and the charging time of the battery. This factor still remains unknown, likely for a good reason. Dyson, a company that sells vacuum cleaners, air purifiers, hair dryers, and so much more, looks to announce its solid state battery breakthrough sometime in 2020. Originally, Dyson was looking to create an electric vehicle, but that plan was killed off when the company announced that it would focus on solid state batteries. Being in a restrictive market with its current products, Jim Rowan, the CEO of Dyson, knows how important solid state batteries will be for the company. He invested a total amount of $2.5 billion and 400 engineers into the research and development of solid state batteries. However, we're yet to hear any updates from Dyson, but with that much money invested into the R&D of solid state batteries, there must be some significant advancements going on behind the scenes. In October 2019, the Toyota chief claimed that they are producing a car with solid state batteries and will unveil it in 2020, but mass production with solid state batteries will be a little later. With over six years of R&D, it looks like Toyota may be nearing the release of their solid state battery, but until we get more information, it still remains in speculation. While Tesla hasn't openly declared its development of the solid state battery, people speculate that the secret project codenamed Roadrunner may be working on a solid state battery. 
This technology is speculated to be released on Tesla's Battery Investor Day, which has recently been pushed back to mid-May by Elon Musk. Musk has said that there are a lot of things to talk about on this day, which could be a solid state battery. Back in late 2018, Volkswagen announced a $100 million investment into QuantumScape, a company heavily invested in solid state battery research. However, the company has said that it's planning for solid state battery production by 2025. So at that pace, Volkswagen seems to be behind in the race for solid state batteries. Ford, Hyundai, and BMW have all invested in the same Colorado based startup named Solid Power. The startup claims to have achieved a breakthrough from its high capacity lithium metal anode in its solid state batteries. In its first round of funding that included BMW, Hyundai, and Samsung, Solid Power received just $20 million. While this may seem like a large amount, it really isn't much compared to the billions of Toyota, Dyson, and Samsung. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting the channel on Patreon in the description below. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit the like button and subscribe. By doing this, I know what type of content you guys enjoy. I appreciate your support.